What's going down? It's Dell went up late with Shot and Dell. Shout out to you, Shot. Hey, from the West Coast, girl. I am not jealous of y'all at all. Got that snow popping, negative 50 degree. I don't care what it is. You see, that's what's so good about up late with Shot and Dell from the West Coast. Okay, I can just pop out. I am live from the gas station right now. Okay okay because i was like you know what i ain't did one all week and i need to make certain y'all get it because i love it and i miss y'all anyway you see i'm rocking the natural child it's about to be back hot again i'm trying to rock the natural anyway child of course my aunt i don't know if i ever mentioned this i'm sure i mentioned this almost a hundred times my auntie always got me checking out the msnbc and i be on fire looking at that girl i be having to turn the tv off okay because Ooh, you know, just looking at what the Republicans is doing and Donald Trump, you know, this dude does something every day. I thought it was every week and his vocabulary is getting less and less. I'm just listening to him yesterday talking about, I, I have words. I went to a great school. I have big words. I went to, I'm like, you don't own words, Donald Trump. I know you think you own every day. I think you come in contact with, you don't own words, okay? You only got five of them that you use here. And they're talking about, I'm, I know things. I'm not, so, I understand very well. I'm like, <laughs> you must be feeling like you're a dummy, okay? At least that's what my aunt said. My aunt talk about, they, um, they hiring all these people that don't, that need to be trained. Donald Trump need to get some train. I'm like, he need to train his damn self first, you know? You know, Donald Trump only wanted to be president because he saw all the love that black man was getting, you know, whenever Barack was in. You know, it was, yes, you can. And you can do, you know, it was so motivational. Everybody was kumbaya and it up. And he was looking at that jealous and shit like, what am I, dog chop? And that's the only reason why he wanted to be president, okay? Now that he's president and the whole world hates him, I know you still feel like shit because. You know, you was only saying make America great again because, you know, you tried to compete with the Barack shit, but this dude was honorable and serious about bringing the world together. All he doing is, you know, uh, now he bringing, no, Donald Trump really bringing everybody together now because now the white people, you know, the dark skinned white people and the Asians and the India, all them waking up right now today and discovering they as black as shit. And that's what black people been trying to tell y'all for years. Okay? When it all boils down to it, we all in the same boat. You better get on this train. Anywho, did y'all see the pictures of Barack on vacation, girl? And does that man not look 40 years younger? <sighs> I am so happy for him. I'm so happy for his daughters. So she ain't got to come up with no security. You know, when you, in your college years, that's when you go through some things. Child, you experience some things. Now she ain't got to be around cameras. And, I mean, she's still going to have the paparazzi, but at least they're out of the White House where she can live and be free. And Michelle, mm, God, I love you. Child, did y'all see Trey Song's new show? Okay. Did y'all see the advertisement for Trey Song's new show on VH1? Now, you know, it's like, it's something like the bash. It's like something fall in love with Tremaine or something like that. You know, um, where all the girls are just like the bachelor. They want to, they're vying for Trey Song's love. Child, you know, the white girls on the bachelor be like, ah, how dare she try to steal more time with him on, on, Fall in love with Trey Song? Oh, girls gonna be getting shot on that show, okay? Because you can actually get to love a star. Like, you can live the star life, the red carpet life. Girl, you should have seen the girls doing the split and humping the couch and gyrating and slapping bitches in the kitchen. You know I'm gonna be too dead, okay? Um, what I can. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, something else I wanted to say. Something else I wanted to say. I gotta look at my list, child, because girl, when I don't talk to y'all in a while, I be having so much to say. First of all, shout out to the Toyota Corolla. Child, that's my car. I drove 19 miles on E yesterday trying to get to my uh, girlfriend's daughter, whom I love so much, picking her up from school. I was getting to her in a rush. Ain't have time to stop again. Shout out to the Toyota Corolla. Y'all need to be sponsored up late with Shindell, okay? Because I can vouch for y'all. <laughs> Something else I wanted to tell y'all about. Damn it. I know one thing I wanted to tell y'all about too is, oh, that's another thing too. 
I told y'all watching Donald Trump every day has me on fire, girl, feeling like a straight racist, but I've been working on my racism, girl. Now, let me tell you how I know it's been working. You know, I turned the TV off because I did not want to now be thinking of a person's race and what that race did. You know, I just want to, I just want to be one big happy family, girl. I got into a fender bender with this bitch, okay? And we jumped out the car and I called her every bitch I could think of. I mean, like the bitch was coming from my toes. I was so mad because first of all, she wouldn't let me over. She's the reason that we even got into the fender bender. I mean, the cars is okay, but you know, they just kind of like collided. But I called her every kind of bitch. And when I got back in the car, I was so proud of myself because I did not once think of her race. Like, I don't know about y'all, but girl, <laughs> well, let me tell you something. When I get mad with you, your race becomes an adjective, okay? I will call you a something something bitch, okay? That's what I brought up for myself that I now was just thinking she was a regular bitch and I had all type of other adjectives like you you greasy bitch, you not paying attention. <laughs> oh, so much to say, so little time. Another thing I've been working on too, um, I have really been really accepting the process, the good, you know, really thanking the Lord for the process. I hung out with my uh, good comedian friend, um, Arana, and what a breath of fresh air. We went to karaoke, but it really was the after karaoke that really stood out in my mind where she was just like, you know, she's been doing the gratitude challenge and, you know, really just been uh, staying positive. And, you know, and I'm always kind of like a positive person, but one thing is I want my own show. I want Uplay to be on, the, uh, on television so bad that I'm always like, when is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? But, you know, I already feel like I connect with y'all. I do have my my own show and um and i'm just gonna take out of my language when is it gonna be on tv and just love it right now because i know i'm working hard and i know it it's guaranteed to me but you know sometimes you do feel um anxious when you've been working so hard at something so that's where i've been feeling more peace in my spirit not since arana like i've been doing that the whole time but it just really reminded me to stay in a uh you know stay gratuitous um, for life right now and um, you know what that's what I've been doing what have you been doing what has been your flow lately let me know in the comments make sure you comment make sure you subscribe um, go to up late with Sha and Dell on YouTube and please subscribe right now and also to make sure you comment and let me know what you've been going through what have you given up I've given up my racism I've been going through being more positive um, and also realizing that the process is the part of the success what's been your flow leave it in the comments over to you Shahez. thank you